I want to open up and be honest with you today. I experience as a man a suffocating amount of fears and an equally suffocating cloud of shame about these fears and the lack of success I have experienced to this point in my life. I only realized the full impact of how these fears, these gremlins in the head that were cutting me back, despite having, you know, great ideas, wonderful aspirations, wonderful intentions, a wonderful message to bring the world. There are all these thoughts that just, just sneak in and they hold me back, they cut me back, they say no, they put that doubt there, they say no you won't be able to do that, no you shouldn't do that, what will other people think? That won't work. No, don't go after that, That's, that door, it might be that much open, but like, you're going to fail if you go beyond that. Ultimately all of this has transpired that I've locked myself unwittingly into a very, very small box of minimal impact. And as a result of this, I've just realized recently with the, with the help of some wonderful coaching friends and I've been doing deep journaling work myself, I, I've realized I have a massive cloud of shame around all of this. A real edgy, heavy shame that, well, I haven't had the success that I've dreamed of. I haven't had the success yet that I've spoke to my family about, I spoke to my wife about, the financial success that I know on one level I'm capable of, but I haven't had that yet. And there's this feeling that comes with that, this pressure that up until about a week ago I didn't have a name for. And the name is, is shame. And on reflecting on this more and more, I also see that nothing in my upbringing, nothing in my education, nothing in, in life prepared me for how to deal with this, prepared me for this experience as a man, as a human. But what has been incredibly interesting is in the last week or two, I've started opening up in conversation with some really good people that I know. And I've said this, I've said, hey, listen, sorry, I've been, I've been showing up with a facade. I've been trying to put a good, strong picture out. I've been you know, proposing that positive thinking is the way to go. I've been putting a smile on. And yet behind it all, I have this shame. And there's these doubts and these fears that are cutting me back. So I've opened up with people. And you know the wonderful thing is, the amazing thing that has happened is, every single person that I've opened up to like this, they just start nodding their head and the next thing an outpouring comes of, yeah, me too. Oh God, yeah, I mean, I've been dreaming and doing a book for years and I haven't been doing it because I have these fears, these doubts and there's this frustration because I'm not doing it. Another person wants to, wanted to open a shop. They had this, this shop that they felt inspired of doing it. So it's, it's a complete career change for them, but they want to do it, but they're, they're afraid. They're afraid of success, they're afraid of failure. They have a shame that they haven't had success, that they're ashamed that they haven't been happy yet. And every single person that I've said it to, this outpouring has come. i just realizing there's a universality of it. I felt alone. I was putting out a strong face. And yet, maybe we're all in the exact same boat. We're having the exact same experience.
my real tantalizing thought in all of this is it's not to focus on fear and shame to get caught in it but my wondrous sort of my head gets into overdrive and really really passionate and excited when I think well what if we could spread a message to people <laughs> that's our team of horses here don't mind them they shout every couple of minutes um, what if us as humanity if we could start engaging in this conversation we could start saying yeah me too yeah I have fears yeah me too yeah I've had this shame about my relationship my shame about finances my shame about what I did in the past my shame about my sexuality and we can just start having an open conversation because I think it's about time that humanity we just start allowing ourselves to say hey we have inherited a heritage of fear and shame that we don't need any more. It doesn't serve us, it doesn't serve life, it doesn't serve the future of, of life on earth. It, doesn't, it has never served anything, anything useful. So, my question to you is, well, what fears do you have in your life? What feelings of shame do you have what inner negativity comes up for you that, that holds you back? What ways of thinking are holding you back from living the life that you were born to live? What might be holding you back from going at that dream life, that vision of gifting your highest, most beautiful, amazing self to, to yourself, to your family, to your community, to the world at large? The gifting of which will only enrich life for everybody that will bring a smile to people's faces that will thus have a ripple effect and liberate other people to feel the same and that say me too i have been subdued but now i see you i'm going to go forward i'm going to take this mantle i'm going to have burn that torch i'm going to burn my torch even brighter and if we can all just start doing this take the veil of doubt of fear of shame away and don't pretend that we're fearless, like I have tried, but failed at doing. Forget about trying to be fearless. But like the, the world best-selling book says, feel the fear and do it anyway. Feel the fear and actually just turn up raw, authentic, real, gifting whatever words are true to you, whatever you believe, whatever you would love the world to hear, whatever your dance is, whatever your music did you want to play, play it. Whatever job you want to actually, that whatever job represents who you truly are. Change your job, upgrade your job, upgrade your attitude. Do whatever it takes to turn up your fullest, rawest, most courageous, most vulnerable, most honest and incredible, miraculous self. I don't think we need to end fear, to end shame. Personally, I think wanting to end it was what was holding me back. I was giving myself an impossible task. I don't want to end them now. But what I do want to end is their impact on me. They're pulling up this inner handbrake as I'm about to gift my higher self forward. That's what I want to end. If they're around to stay for life, whatever. All I want to do is just speak my truth. Talk about what I believe. Turn up full, turn up raw, turn up honest. That's me.